Hi folks, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, and I hope you're well. Kenny from Scottville here with not one update, not two updates, but three, yes, three updates all at once. Is this what they call alpha? Don't know, but let's jump in anyway. So, the first of these updates is the good news, from, at least for me, that I made my first goal of losing a stone in weight earlier this week. Friends back home and one or two people here will know that I hit the heights of 14 stone by the time I got here in March of last year. So getting rid of a stone puts me back to where I was just before the pandemic struck in 2020. But I'm not finished yet, as I was only 12 and a half stone back in 2018-19. Now, I'm not in any hurry to complete the next goal, but if I can lose a couple of pounds each month, then I'll hit that goal by the end of the year. For those of you using foreign speak, 12 and a half stone is 175 pounds or 80 kilos. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know I did some videos about a couple of businesses here, namely Scott's and Margarita Station. Now, the nearest one to me here is Scott's, and there was talk of them closing down the bakery and deli side of things, retaining the cafe and menu, which is a good thing, turning the former into a resto bar, and keeping on the sales of beers, wines and spirits, obviously. Not a lot has happened since I first mentioned this, except the range of goods available for sale has diminished significantly. I asked earlier this week when I was in, and there isn't a date for this to happen as yet. Glad to say, I was still able to get a couple of things I wanted, and it saved me going further afield. The third and final update, for now, is all about Margarita Station. To recap, this business has been on Fields Avenue for many years and is well known in the area. The building is under new ownership and there is no prospect of a long-term lease being available, so it has prompted the business owners to come up with an alternative. Originally, there was talk of utilising the upper floor of Tequila Reef Cantina at the back of Walking Street and combining the two into a 24-hour operation, as Margarita is already 24 hours, and also refurbishing the old Phoenix Hotel way at the top end of Malabanyas Road, just at its junction uh, with Don Wico Avenue, which is a continuation of Fields Avenue and 21st Street. As of now, Combining the businesses is off the cards and I think Tequila Reef Cantina will remain with its normal operating hours. As you can see, there is work going ahead at the old hotel and I'm still trying to find out when the works are due to complete. As far as I know, they are still to be going ahead with the use of tuk-tuks to ferry people for free between Tequila and the new Margarita after everything is finished. This will also be good news for the bars up here like Night Moves, Triple X, Thunderbirds, Candy Bar, etc, etc, as it will bring more people into this area. And there does seem to be an increase in the number of people going about in general over the last year. So there you have it. I'll take this opportunity to say thanks once again to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and of course a big thanks and thumbs up to those who take the second or two to hit the like button. It all helps the algorithm push the videos out there. Don't forget to leave any comments or questions below and make sure you catch up with me on the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay well, see you soon, hopefully.